Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another custom character video in LEGO DC Super Villains. Now I'm pretty excited because I haven't done uh, like a holiday themed character series in a while, so I'm, I was pretty excited to do this actually. Uh, so yeah, you know, now that I said that, this is part one of my, uh, you know, little holiday themed uh, series that I want to make. I, I already have six characters, six Halloween themed characters lined up for y'all, so pretty excited about that. Like I said, I haven't done it in a while. And yeah, man, I want to start off with a bang, you know, I want to start off with a good character that I think, even though with the limitations of this customizer, I still think this one turned out pretty good, pretty creepy. Um, I'm not going to lie, I did have to take, you know, my own interpretation of the design because, again, with the customizer, you don't exactly have all the pieces you need. But still, this one I think turned out really good, so happy to start off with a pretty good one and an iconic character as well, which is Chucky, obviously. You know him, he's a creepy little doll boy. <laughs> but yeah, with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, you want to go over to the head, uh, to preset, or I went over to preset. And I mean, you can use a regular face, obviously. You can use something like this, or you can try to find a face with blue eyes or something like that. But I actually don't think there is any face with blue eyes. I think actually Jimmy Olsen's head works pretty good. But it, the problem with a head like that is that it's just not creepy enough. So I think Scarecrow's actually it works pretty good, as long as, um, you know... I think that, because even the scars on, on his face look good, because, you know, Chucky has hella scars on his face, so it makes him look more scary, more menacing. It's just, you know, the middle there, like the patch on his forehead, the, it looks kind of off-putting, and the, uh, even the mouth isn't that bad. But the eyes, I do like that the eyes are red, it just makes him look a lot more creepy, so big fan of this, uh, the scarecrow head for Chucky, I think it works fine. Uh, for the hair, I went with, with the long, and I made it like a, um, this brown right here. Because, you know, it kind of looks a little bit reddish because Chucky does have, like, reddish brown hair. It's not quite like this. These are these options are both a little bit too red. But if I were to go with one, I'd probably go with the darker one. But I prefer the brown. Um, for the body, uh, okay, so for the body, I actually think the piece I went with worked. It's not the best because, you know, this is the only piece, torso piece with, um, like, overalls. But I wasn't going to go with these because... Yeah, I, I would have to make his legs yellow, otherwise it wouldn't match. So, yeah, I just think eh, this piece doesn't work too good. The best piece that I found was the Knitted Minion. And yeah, I just left the blue. I like it because it's striped, and Chucky does have like a striped shirt underneath his overall. So at least, you know, at least his torso has that pattern design, you know, just the stripes. So it's not the best, but I think it works. Uh, the arms, I went with the Joker Henchman. Damn, my AC turned on. <laughs> But yeah, for the arms, I went with the Joker henchman, and then I made them green. Uh, because the shirt does does have some green, so I just wanted to have a little bit of color variety, and not just make his whole torso and arms blue. So I think the green works. The green works just fine. And then the hands, just uh, I think just skin tone hands. And then for the legs, uh, I actually went with um. So yeah, he wears like obviously overall, so it's still you know like the the blue jean material. What's it called? Denim or whatever. Um, and then he does have red shoes. So actually this piece I think works pretty good, even though I think the, the red is a little bit too much. I wish it was just kind of on the, you know, the lower half of his feet, not also all the way up to his knees. So it is a little bit of an issue, but it's not that bad. I mean, once you make, you know, the legs blue, um, I think the lighter blue makes it look a little bit better. Plus I do like the patches on his knees as well, you know, just gives him a, more of a doll aesthetic, I guess. <laughs> Uh, and then for the hips, uh, you want to just go ahead and match, match them with the pants. And then for the final, the finishing the finishing touch of our Chucky, you want to go over to the weapons. And, um, okay, it wasn't the swords. <laughs> it was in uh, hammers and axes, which I don't know why the cleaver isn't hammer and axes. Uh, I mean, I guess it's kind of like a axe, you know? Eh, I don't know. But yeah, you want to go with the cleaver, um, just because they don't have like a regular kitchen knife. And I still think it looks good. Definitely, you know, the cleaver is still a menacing weapon, I would say. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it. Now all we got to do is take our Chucky out to the Metropolis world and showcase him off for a bit. All right, guys, here he is, our custom Chucky in LEGO DC Super Villains. And yeah, man, I got to say, you know, it's not exactly perfect one-to-one, -one, but I still think it looks good. He definitely looks creepy. And like I said, the problem with the head is just that every other head, uh, I don't know why you can fly. I forgot to take that off. But yeah, every other head was just... Uh, just wasn't scary enough, I don't think. But I still think you can make it work. I just personally really liked uh, this head for Chucky, and the red eyes just made it made him look a lot made him look more menacing and 
and uh, yeah, just uh, sinister, diabolical, which is, yeah, Chucky, it's pretty much what he is. <laughs> He's the embodiment of uh, evil and scariness, because yeah, I was pretty scared of that man as a, or that doll as a, as a kid. But yeah, man, that's pretty much it for this one. Like I said, I have a series lined up, so expect about five more characters. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. See you on the next one, guys. Take care. Peace.